record here. Good morning, Positive Life Club. My name is Jessica Alstrom, and I'm just making sure that we are actually streaming live here. Yes, we are good. Um, I am a um, international mentor and intuitive life coach, and I was asked to join this fabulous group and do a six-week workshop with you guys on the new 5D Earth. And it's one of my favorite topics to teach about uh, because obviously this is where we are now as a collective, as, as humans. And um, it's, just, it's just an amazing opportunity for us to connect um, and um, talk about what is going on in the universe and how that is a micro of, of what we have going on right here um, right here on earth. So a little background about me. Uh, again, my name is Jess Gallstrom and I am the creator of the Quantum Method International. I coach all over the world. Um, I teach workshops, do mentorships. I have my own teacher training certification program where I take people through a year long journey to bring out the quantum um, teacher within them. And really when I say quantum, what I mean is um, all inclusive, which means that we're using futuristic medicine and the past um, and combining all of the modalities in the entire universe to create the ultimate level of wellness and um, potential within our human bodies, within our, our souls, connection to our bodies, and allows us to create on purpose here. And that is the name of the game. I am also the creator of the Quantum Revolution International um, Tour that we take our show on the road. We do live DNA activations, healing of the subconscious um, with accelerated quantum technologies and very sophisticated biohacking. So, yep, I'm a, co a total nerd. And we will actually be out in Dublin to see Paul in October bringing our show on the road. And we're hoping to bring you guys a workshop um, all around the concept of quantum leaping and how to actually get it to stick. Because if you guys are in this group, you're probably pretty fast forward and you understand the ideas of quantum leaping. Um, and that is um, mastery in itself. I'm just making sure that we have sound and everything here. Great, sounds good, looks good. Okay, so we're gonna dive in. Um, and at the end, I'll wrap up where you can find me if you want to learn more about what we're doing. But I want to dive in because I only have about 30 minutes for this segment today. I will be live um, every week at this time. I believe it's a lot later for you guys there in Ireland, but in Kansas City in the U.S., it is 9 a.m. on um, Saturday morning here. And it's interesting how we can connect globally at different time zones on different days and have an exact one-to-one -one moment. And that's really what the concept of this workshop is today. It is all about the earth in five dimensions. I know you guys have been hearing the new earth and the new earth and the global awakening and you know this pandemic that we're in is sparking all of that. And this is all true. So how does that work? One of my greatest qualifications is to break down the how. You know, there's amazing concepts that we learn all the time. And you know, um, we study under these magnificent teachers and then we get home and we go, right, okay, how? It made so much sense when he was describing it. It made so much sense when he was talking about it or she was talking about it. How do I do it? And that's where my specialty is, is the in the how. In the how this works, in the how manifestation occurs, in the how you become the real version of your higher self, how you quantum leap, how you heal your trauma. That is my specialty is in the how. So 5D, right? A lot of people are still like have the spiritual concept of this and the metaphysical concept of this, but their human brain is trying to wrap around. What does that mean, right? Well, it's pretty simple when we break it down at a, like about a fourth grade quantum level and we say, okay, let's just look at, you know, when you're looking at something that's two dimensional, right? It's pretty solid. It's pretty black and white, right? It's pretty, it's pretty solid or it's not. You know, and then we start to go into three dimensions where it's like, oh, there's another angle there, right? There's another dimension there. There's another, there is another concept there. And that's where Earth has been for a really long time, sitting tightly in a third dimension, 
which means time and space has been a big governor of the third dimensional realm, which means when you come from, you know, clear positive energy and you come into a body that's filled with density and programs, then you're trying to interact from going from, you know, light speed and sound speed into a three dimensional form of matter. And it's like, trying to get things to move in slow motion. I know you guys have had that dream at some point where you're like running in concrete. That's literally your soul going, why is your body so heavy? Why does it take so long to manifest things? Why is, you know, why, why does it take so long to, to do life, right? And, and that's really what it is, is it's this emerging concept of, of you being this, this soul within yourself and you're going as fast as light in in your feeling space in your knowing space and then you come into the body and it's literally like going from having a phd to walking into a kindergarten classroom and trying to navigate with obsolete heavy basic tools and the merging of the soul and the body is what gives us our greatest journey on earth it isn't what is happening outside of us because what is happening outside of us is a reflection of the hologram that we design on the inside. We are having a universal experience from the inside out. Our brain, our eyes are literally projection. The consciousness that streams through that projection is the light. So if you've ever watched a movie, the projector's rolling, it requires light to shine the movie on the screen. The movie on the screen is what you believe is happening out there. Right, so obviously we could go really deep with just this one concept. This could be a 10 week workshop, but I'm assuming you guys have the basics. And with that understanding, you know, as a 3D body that has the capabilities within its DNA structures to be completely multi dimensional, it has the ability to evolve very quickly, which means the soul integrated deep into the body evolves the body itself. It turns the body back on. And as the body begins to turn itself back on, it begins to know and remember itself. And it has capabilities of superhuman potential, right? Infinite possibilities of creation. The time it becomes a tool that we mold manifestation with, it's, it's something that's very important in this dimension still in 5D because we are using time to decide, discern, and determine what we prefer so that we may make a choice because there's a lot going on, right? And so we want to make sure that we are deliberately using our time to create that which we prefer. And that's obviously a secret that we teach is that what are you looking at? Because if I am looking and streaming constantly, right? What am I streaming? If you go to YouTube right now and you type in a tagline, it's going to be, thousands of videos based on the content that you have chosen to enter and you get to choose which one you watch, which one you live stream, right? I'm live streaming right now, one access of my consciousness. So you're choosing to tap in and look at this. Well, and this is the experience you're gonna have. So whatever you're choosing to look at still exists in the fifth dimension, but in third dimension is really where we learn how it works. Everything is so slow that we are able to kind of master the art of time and space, moving from absolute speed of light, which means we're moving so fast you wouldn't be able to see us until we utilize the aspect of density to basically move ourselves into a slower motion form so we can be seen, so we can be experienced, so we can be known, so we can have tangible, physical, viable, material experiences. And that is why we come. We love that idea. Now, I know all, not all of your experiences have been super exciting, but you want to experience those too, because then you get to decide and choose which you prefer, and then you can lean into the direction of your focus and begin to manifest a new reality, because what you focus on is what you eventually see. Now, in the laws of the universe, because Earth in the third dimension is set up in duality, Right? And when I say duality, I mean dual sides, right? We've got a, a light side, a dark side, a yin, a yang, uh, you know, we've got um, feminine, we've got masculine, you know, we've got good and evil, whatever you want to decide to call it, it doesn't matter. But just imagine that you yourself are split down the middle and in your house, you have both dark and light within you. You have the principles of source energy, 
you have the all-knowing akashic field of potential within you you have the source of light you have pure positive consciousness you have your super consciousness and then as we move into density we begin to have our subconsciousness which is more matter based program based you know it's more about memories and experiences that we've had or worried about having it's more about your lineage your bloodline your ancestry your genetic coding right so we have all of this potential and then we go into a body that's packed with limits right so we're experiencing both of these in duality now in the third dimension is where we learn to play the game and in third dimension the game is split into two halves right surviving and thriving right and the game that we most play as a collective here on earth is the game of surviving right we think that we're thriving because we have those moments but when we look back at our time relationships health money lines flows connections it's been a push pull it's 10 steps forward it's 10 steps back it's it's the great job but you feel trapped it's the right it's the right partner but the wrong time you know it's like in third dimension there's always a bittersweet manifestation involved because third dimension is so tightly packed in density which means there is a lot more heavy energy which is why as the the planet has gone through her own evolution to move into five dimension right that also allows us to tap into that genetic sequence and evolve our bodies through osmosis right so our bodies get to evolve with mother earth through osmosis our consciousness the more aware we are the more we can house and drive the physical body and move it into higher states of awareness the less awareness we are the less we have the capability of accelerating our own evolution and we stay in the lower frequencies the lower emotions fear resistance right Res uh, resentment shame guilt humiliation and grief and when we are looking or feeling or resisting those frequencies or those emotions we tend to anchor ourselves in the more densely densified body structure that moves very slowly believes that it is um mortal that believes its time is running out believes that it doesn't have enough believes that it's it cannot be authentic and still be loved not feeling safe to be heard and seen right constant levels of judgment levels of comparison right why does she have that why does he have that and that's pretty much the story of 3d so we're really excited that this is coming to an end we're really excited that we are going to be able to move quicker we are very excited that we are going to be able to decide discern and choose to have more options than just black or white right and so you're probably like, Jess, hey, you, you kind of skipped the four dimensions. You done, we have to go third dimension, fourth dimension, and fifth dimension. Not necessarily, because the way that I want to explain fourth dimension is kind of like this bridge you see behind me, right? It's a pretty cool bridge. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like my metaphor of this work that we're doing right now. And the bridge is first and foremost a choice right and one side is the third dimension and the second side is the fifth dimension and the bridge itself is the fourth dimension so it has its own unique journey its own unique expression but it is the bridge it is the conduit it is the catalyst point that rendezvous us from uh, where we want to be right where we are to where we want to be i mean how many times have you gone to your practitioner gone to your healer had your you know your quantum sessions had your you know you know massage therapist, your acupuncturist, whatever, whoever you're seeing, your shaman, and you're like, I'm here, I wanna be here. And hopefully they say, okay, become the bridge. Because if I am the universe, I, it's not a physical bridge I'm going to walk on, it's a bridge that I'm gonna create within myself. And the bridge, as we go deeper into this workshop, I will really explain more of how the bridge is built in fractal energy and how we can move from density into light. But for this, particular workshop today I want to give you the backstory so that as we move along in our workshop 
that this is going to make more sense because it's important that you that it makes sense so that you can you know analytically understand it in your third dimensional brain because on that fifth dimensional spectrum you get it you get that we're in a fast moving evolution you see time speeding up you see more infinite possibilities around you so when you look at the earth in five dimensions the comparison that i use in my classroom all the time is when people are like what is this 5d I say, imagine this, because the concept defiles the ability to think about it because of the levels of access points you have and rendezvous and hallways and entry points of the fifth dimension. The third dimension is pretty basic, right? Fifth dimension is pretty extra, right? We've got two choices, good and evil in third dimension. And it's like, that's kind of a masculine concept. of It's either good or it's bad. And the shades of gray is usually where we live, the sensitives right the impasse of the planet and we're going well wait i see both sides is that wrong am i wrong because i can see both sides and so we kind of have this process of sitting on the bridge where we're like i don't really resonate with that and i'm not quite ready to go over there because nobody's over there and that's uncertain but i don't want to be over there anymore so kind of like swing on this bridge right and that's where most of us have been hanging out waiting for this exact moment in time and what a beautiful analogy and metaphor of a pandemic virus virus of the third dimension to get us to heal get us to move because your greatest teacher in the third dimension has been pain it has been pain and your suffering it has gotten you to wake up it has gotten you to realize who you are it has gotten you to remember that you are more than this body so pain has been your first important teacher on this planet now you have two teachers pain and love right evil, good, whatever you want to call it, dark light. But when you move across the bridge, you've got to move across the bridge. And it's amazing how humans get so uncomfortable, excuse me, so comfortable being uncomfortable. It's like, I can't do this anymore, but I'm terrified of over there. I can't be this way anymore, but I don't know how to walk across this bridge because I don't believe in myself. I don't trust myself. So when we look at the 5D, what is it? Well, I'm going to tell you what's waiting for you over there, okay? First and foremost, if you've ever been to a shopping mall, right? Or a little boutique. Imagine that your little town that you live in, okay, has one store. That's it, one store. Now in this store, it has multiple choice, okay? It's got feminine energy, it's got masculine energy. You know, I don't know what you guys call it out in Ireland, but we have kind of like a Walmart concept, right? It's a one-stop shop. You know, you can get everything from sporting goods to canned green beans to bottled water to a canoe to a sweatshirt, right? So the third dimension is kind of like a Walmart, and I don't know what you guys call it there, but it's a superstore, okay? That's pretty much sums up what the third dimension is. Now, this is the fun part. Now, fifth dimension is more of like a city of stores, okay? A city of stores but each store has its own choices, its own specific choices. So if Walmart has a clothing rack like this big, right? And that's the third dimension, you only have this much choice, right? And you're like set, you end up settling, bargaining, you know, being desperate for what you really want and just finally surrendering to what you don't want. That's pretty much, right? and it's just outside of your price range, so you can kind of afford a little bit of stuff, right? That's the way the third dimension is built in the concept of the game. That's where our learning game is. You know, when you go to kindergarten, you get crayons to color with, right? And you get to your PhD classes, and you have laser printers and 5D printers, right? And so, you and 3D printers, you have different tools. So, you're very limited. So, if we were gonna call third dimension anything, we'd call it kindergarten right a lot of crying going on a lot of screaming going on you know that's 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 3d so if you looked at 4d 4d is your journey 4d is what you 4d is what you've been working on it is who you are becoming it is the action of letting go and surrendering your old selves and shedding your snakeskin and going through your cocoon and having your metamorphosis and really becoming who you are that's what it's all about okay so that's the bridge and it's wonky and it's scary and it's very foggy on the other side and you don't know who's there and you don't know if mom and dad are going to make it across and you don't know if your spouse is going to make it across which is why you never go over there but what's on the other side 
is infinite, 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 infinite stores, right? That are specific to one idea. So here's a store that just has jeans. There's a store that just has this, this has this, this has this. And it literally would take you your whole life to choose your infinite possibilities, which means by the time you get from 3D to 5D, this bridge is gonna teach you courage. It's gonna teach you who you are. You're gonna have self-love. You're gonna remember yourself. You're going to trust yourself because once you get over there, it could be so overwhelming if you've lived a life without choice that you could just be walking around going, well, I don't know who I am and I don't know what I want. There's too many choices. So Earth in five dimensions is almost like if you've ever gone to a movie and it's in 3D, right? You wear the 3D glasses and then the 4D is when they layer on the sound experience, right? And now you're in a vibrating chair and you've got 3D glasses and it's in surround sound. Well, 5D, is basically being able to interact with that movie, interact with those characters, interact with that story, which means you're like, mm, I don't like that story, swipe, I'm gonna put this character in the movie and I'm gonna continue watching. That's how badass 5D is, okay? So, of course we all wanna get there because over there, we're like Tony Stark in Iron Man and we're literally choosing from a place of abundant freedom of knowing because what the bridge is going to teach you is who the hell you are. And that's what your journey has all been about, is basically going, okay, we're picking up a settlement of 3D, we're getting on the road, we're gypsy renegade spirits anyways, let's do this, right? And you start with a group, and then they trickle and they trickle and they go, I can't go anymore, I'm scared, you know, I can't leave my job, um, you know, the job pays my bills, and you're like, do you know on the other side, there's just like, you know, endless opportunities for abundance by just being yourself? Because once you create the bridge experience within yourself, you remember that your birthright is abundance and money starts to come at you from every direction. Now, this is one of my master points of teaching. I love teaching people how to remember to create abundance because it isn't something that you need to be worthy of or deserving of, right? especially if you remember that you are source energy in a physical body that doesn't remember its worth, your job is to remember, put back together, your, yourself with you, clear the programs that are sitting in this hard drive, download some new software, and it's just like, I, was, I have actually right now, present moment, I have um, nine people in my home in Kansas City doing a retreat, they're all upstairs making breakfast right now, and the, the weekend is all about this vision quest, right? This vision quest, this concept of walking across the bridge and what it is going to require of you and what you're gonna have to surrender and let go of, right? Belief systems, root trauma, right? Subconscious BS that you've picked up from mom and dad and church and society, right? And the cool thing about this pandemic that we're in right now, and yeah, you can quote me on it, I said, cool is that the metaphor of a virus is basically when something kind of influences the host and makes everything go wonky, right? It makes everything sick. If you've ever had a virus on your computer, if you've ever had a virus in your body, it requires a host. It requires you to participate with it. Now, we're utilizing this, these bridge workers, these, these empaths, these light workers, whatever you wanna call us, we're utilizing the concept of this pandemic virus as a way for everybody to kind of surrender and let go and reset and stop living in the futuristic art of being busy, which is actually trauma. When we can't live in the present moment, we're running away from trauma that we don't even know is there. We've numbed and disassociated from ourselves so much that we're like, hurry, get to the future. It's gonna be so much better over there. There's gonna be more opportunities over there. But the future never comes when you're in 3D because it's just one big loop and you can't outrun yourself in 3D. You can't leave 3D. So you create a solution that turns into a problem. You create a friend that turns into a bully. You create a partner that turns into abuse. You create a job that creates into, turns you into a slave. So the third dimensional game is so that it's a hard, fast pace of learning how to create because it's such a painful teacher. And we don't like pain, do we? We don't like pain in the body. We don't like pain in the mind. We don't like pain in our family. So we resist it 
but we don't understand that what we resist we're actually really looking at. And here's why, because you've heard this a lot of times in your, your teachings by now, what you resist you get, and you're going, okay, I get that, but why? Why quantumly, scientifically, what we push away becomes glued to us? Because think about it, and I, I give this analogy in my classroom all the time. If I'm hurting, right, if my body hurts, I don't want anyone around me, right? I don't want anyone touching me, I don't want anyone talking to me, so I'm literally using a huge amount of energy to keep everyone away. Now, I don't know I'm using a huge amount of energy to keep everybody away, but I am because I'm hurting inside, but I'm so good at hurting because I've been hurting my whole life that I forget that I'm hurting and I forget that I'm pe keeping people away. And I forget that I'm using about 50% of my energy field to keep things away from me. And when I do that, I only have now 50% of my reality to create that which I prefer. So you see how your vibration gets split in half. 50% keeping pain away, right? Keeping failure away, keeping um, you know, all the loss away, keeping the anger away, and 50% to create which I want. And the universe is like, which one do we pick? And the universe is like, well, I only have one answer. And my answer is yes, yes to both. That's why you get these bittersweet manifestations you know, 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. And then you finally say, I've had enough. I'm getting on the bridge. I'm getting on the bridge. Now I'm terrified, but you know what? I just lost everything. I just lost my job. And usually your higher self, right? That is doing its best to integrate into this body and take over the driver's seat and stop the third dimensional programs. Sometimes the only way that it can get your attention is to have a dark night of the soul, an accident, a rock bottom experience, a major loss, a major trauma, you know, and, and the higher self will use something dramatic to get your attention so that you will actually be like, I'm sick and tired of sick being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being broke. I want to have love in my life. I deserve it. And you're reading and you're studying and you're watching thousands of hours of YouTube. And so you know these concepts are real, but the how? how do I do this? How do I get on this bridge without being terrified? And the answer is you're going to do it afraid. You're going to do it afraid. And the, the, and you're, you're going to wait for your rock bottom. You're going to wait for your dark night. It doesn't matter. You're getting on this bridge. This is your job. This is why you came. You came to evolve. You did not came to be mediocre. You came to be extraordinary beings of light. And through this bridge process, we will remember how this works and then we will be able to come back across and walk people over. We will be able to come back across because once you're free, once you have a PhD, you can go back into a, a, be a kindergarten classroom. You can go teach seventh grade, right? So once you make it all the way across the bridge, you're like, well, what if there's nobody over there? Have no fear because you will be multidimensional, which means that you will be able to live in any dimension, right? And that five, four, three, and you will be able to move about the cabin and really be able to navigate your journey, which is why you're gonna have job security, people. Just you moving across the bridge is gonna give you job security in a huge way because now you know how to do this. And people really need, you know, program directors. They really need way showers. They need guides. They need mirrors. They need people to hold space and say, you can do it just a little bit further today. Just a little bit further today. Did you see how that manifestation works? And so authority is the interactive platform where you face your greatest fears. You find your greatest strengths. You turn limits into possibilities, right? You heal your bodies. And as you get across, you become so confident in who you are and you start to remember that now it's just coming out of you, like your cup is overflowing with knowledge and most important experience. Because if you guys got on this really crickety bridge right here, here, like check that out. Would you wanna go with someone who's never crossed or would you wanna go with someone who's already been on the other side and knows how to live and already has housing over there has already got the new food system over there, has the new money system. It's like, please, you're wasting your time. Like, it's the Garden of Eden over there, trust me. But you've got to walk the bridge, right? So the bridge, the concept of this, is you letting go of everything that you're not, okay? 
And that actually puts us at 9.30. And this is our first segment of this workshop. If you guys liked what you heard today, um, you know, I have about 600 hours on YouTube. Um, uh, you know, I love what Paul's doing for his group. He's had amazing, great teachers for this, for the team and the rest of the team that I got a chance to meet um, this, the beginning of this year in uh, Dublin when we came out to do a little talk. Can't wait to see you guys in October. I will see you this same time next Saturday for part two of this. Hopefully I grabbed your attention in some form, but otherwise I will see you guys next week at this time. So have a great weekend and I will see you really soon.